you're looking at if you fall. <laughs> I can't tell if my camera is like crooked or not. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Uh, Wednesday at about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm uh, in my local mountains. I'm about 25 minutes away from my house just heading up for a quick overnight trip to a pretty popular, pretty busy area. Uh, shouldn't be too bad on a Wednesday into Thursday though. Looking forward to uh, having a good time. Should be some okay fishing, camping, hiking, and uh, we're gonna get on the trail. It is so pretty up here. It is beautiful. It is so green outside right now. It's almost unbelievable how green it is. As you can see behind me, it's extremely pretty. Been a great hike. I've passed just a couple people. There is a father and son behind me. They're also uh, coming up here to backpack and do some fishing. So I'll have some company, which is fine. I'm about five minutes from the lake that I'm gonna set up camp at. Super beautiful, been a great hike, peaceful. So much fun. Um, I've still seen just a few people uh, and I expected it to be uh, not very busy where it's just a Wednesday, but it is a popular area. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of day hikers that make their way up. And again, I know there's at least the father and son backpacking. So uh, I'm looking forward to just getting right above this little ridge right here and finding a place to camp. I wanna fish and uh, Probably do some day hiking, who knows. <laughs> and we made it. Lake right there behind me, it is uh, beautiful up here. Just uh, a few people, three or four day hikers on the other side over there. So I'm gonna walk uh, over to where the campsites are and uh, kind of see what's over there and try and find a little uh, spot to set up a tent. Boy, does it feel good to sit down after that hike in here. <laughs> I'm gonna fix a cup of coffee. I got a little beef jerky stick uh, that I'm gonna eat. Uh, and I'll probably do that down by the lake after I get my coffee hot. And uh, then I think I'm gonna fish and I might possibly hike. I haven't quite figured that out yet. I guess it depends on how fishing is. But uh, really excited to be here. Gonna have a good time and uh, let's have some coffee. Nothing too fancy today, taster's choice. I love that smell right when that hot water hits those coffee. I'll think. Not a bad place to have a, a cup of coffee and some beef jerky, is it? Uh, 
Uh, I think I'm going to fish a little bit after I have this coffee and uh, go for a hike after that and, or, or go for a hike before that. I don't know. Who knows? Not me. So it's about 12.30 in the afternoon and I uh, made a last minute decision to do a little day hike before I start fishing. I'm going to walk up the hill to a pretty little view area, come back down and probably have another snack and then start fishing at that point, but I got to get up this little hill first. Well, I'm pretty close to where I want to go and uh, I've just found the snow. Oh, it is so pretty up here. Um, I just hiked from uh, Silver Lake where I'm camped at up to Silver Glance, which is just a little ways behind the camera. Still uh, a little bit of snow uh, up here from that recent snowfall. Um, the little pond is actually covered in snow. So there's a couple up there trying to have a nice little picnic. <laughs> so I walked down a little ways to give them a little privacy. And um, I'm either going to hike up to the old uh, Excalibur Sword, which is uh, just right up here, or work my way back down to camp and uh, start fishing but uh, before I do anything I'm gonna have a snack and uh, I don't really know but having a great time peaceful just awesome I love this beautiful Look at this. That is just way cool. That lake down there is where I'm camped. I brought the camera with and I'm glad I did. The sword is just unbelievable and the, the view up here is fantastic. It's kind of the what you're looking at if you fall. <laughs> so much fun up here. Oh, I love it. The ridge line is fun. Uh, it's got a lot of fun exposure, safe exposure, but fun. Glad I made the last minute decision to come up to the sword and uh, I'm gonna work my way back down to camp, relax for a minute and uh, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm dying to fish, so soon. Well, I'm finally on some kind of a trail out of the snow, mud, and uh, getting pretty close to camp. Whew, okay, we made it back to camp. I think I was gone about three and a half hours. Um, my shoes and socks are pretty wet, so I'm gonna take those off, get my sandals on. Uh, I gotta filter some water, I'm gonna have some coffee, and then I'm gonna uh, head down to the water and uh, fish. Um, you know, I'll probably fish off and on until dark, so should sleep pretty good. It's been a lot of work today. All right, I am uh, <laughs> down by the water. Uh, this particular spot right here is only about 15 seconds from where I'm camped. Not a whole lot of room for a, you know, a back cast, but this will be a good spot to just get started with a roll cast to kind of get a feel for the water. Uh, I'm fishing for Arctic grayling, brook trout, and cutthroat. There are better places to fish, uh, you know, uh, over here, but there's still some day hikers coming up, so I'm going to give them their space, and I have space right here. I'm sure before this uh, night's over, I've uh, fished the entire lake. So here we go, getting started. All right. So I'm gonna get started with just some roll casts. I have a little, little pink bead-headed midge pattern on right now. one uh, second cast 
feels kind of like one of the cutthroat up here. The grayling typically have a little more fight. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Second cast, guys. That was awesome. And that actually was a grayling, about eight inches. So, uh, so much fun. Obviously, we're going to get right back after it. Got to love those pink, uh, those pink midges. Such an effective fly for me. Pretty much anywhere here in Utah. All right. One fish, a couple strikes. Uh, beautiful grayling and um, I just got done filtering some water and brought that back to camp. I'm out and I was really thirsty so uh, I'm actually gonna walk to the other side of the lake. It looks like there's a really nice little uh, meadowy beachy area that I can stand on and I'm gonna go over there uh, probably for an hour or more if it's really good and then work my way back to camp and there's another really good spot by camp but uh, yeah so having a great time and uh, let's get over there. Okay, uh, this is where I'm gonna fish. It's uh, extremely marshy. There's like a foot of marsh to get on this little rock that I'm standing on. I don't know, I'm seeing a lot of fish. I'm gonna probably regret saying that when nothing takes my, when nothing takes my bug. Well, no luck on the other side of the lake. Uh, they're jumping all over the place. I just couldn't figure them out. I gave it about 45 minutes. So gonna make the walk around back to camp. Uh, I'm gonna go to camp, refill up my water and uh, uh, probably finish out the night fishing by camp and just relaxing. So a lot of fun, fun little area. So a little status update on people. Uh, I talked to the dad in the, in the little boy. I don't know how old he is, 12 or 13. They're on the other side of the lake and there's actually a Another gentleman and his two kids about uh, 75 yards uh, that way. Uh, super awesome. Uh, really nice guy up here with his uh, two kids. Uh, I can't remember how old they were. I know one of them was four. And I can't remember the other one. But for their first backpacking trip. And I just think that's so awesome that he's up here doing that with them. Such a neat, a neat experience that they'll probably remember for forever. So it's about 5.30, maybe even 6 o'clock at night. So... I got another good hour or two on the water and then come back to camp and start winding down. Got it. That is a beautiful fish. Beautiful little birch trout. Another really pretty little brook trout. All right, go. Go. Yeah, 
we go. Beautiful little fish. Well, that was pretty awesome. Uh, landed two fish and had a few strikes. I am heading back towards camp and I might fish one more hole on the way. So I'm getting pretty tired and looking forward to actually getting in the tent tonight. It is dinner time and I am starving. Uh, top ramen for dinner. And I got a Reese's in my uh, new food bag that I just ordered from, or that I just got from Backcountry Exposure's uh, Etsy shop. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get that all cooked up and I should be in bed, in my tent at least. I got a couple movies to watch. Uh, I'll be in bed pretty early. Might even be in bed before dark, I'm tired. Yeah, probably take five minutes or so for that to be ready. That may not look like much, but man, this guy is starving. Sriracha chicken. It's all stuck to my spoon. Hey, bud. Hi. Hi. He's okay. Hi, bud. You better go home. You, be you better go home. I told y'all I'd be in this tent before dark. It's nine, uh, just crawling in here, gonna get wrapped up in my quilt and watch a movie. Had an awesome day, a great day hike. Uh, the Excalibur sword is pretty cool. Uh, fishing, landed a few, missed a few, awesome. Just a really good day. Uh, there's runoff everywhere. All I hear is water raging. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it'll be a great white noise to fall asleep with. I'm gonna get the movie on and uh, relax for the night, so. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We will see y'all in the morning. Good morning. I'm uh, all packed up, had my coffee, I had a little breakfast bar, and I'm just sitting here watching all the fish rise. Pretty active this morning, but uh, you know, I'm packed up. I'm gonna hit the trail and start working my way home. Pretty much the entire hike out of here is just an incredible view. So that should be pretty nice uh, to walk out with. Uh, outside of that, we're gonna hit the trail.